This is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe, where you get big web traffic ideas for small marketing budgets. And this is Periscope on Android, your A to Z tutorial, part two. In part one of this Periscope video tutorial, you've learned everything there is to know about setting up your Periscope account the right way. Yes, there were some tricks to it, plus maximizing your Periscope profile to get you more followers. Now, here's what I've learned about Periscope after being on it since it was first launched. Your enjoyment of Periscope will largely depend on the quality of broadcasters you follow. So let's get out there and meet us some awesome people. To find people to follow, tap on the people icon. That'll bring you to the list of Number one, featured users. These are handpicked by Periscope team. People who you are following on Twitter. And the most loved list. People who earned or bought the most Periscope hearts. And we'll talk about Periscope hearts later in this video series. And here's your search function, which we'll be using quite a bit. You can search for users by name like this. Click on the search function. Search for the name of the person you're looking for in Periscope. For instance, Anna Hoffman. Of course, why not? This one, even though you see three Anna Hoffmans here, this one has a bio that interests me, plus more followers. So, which makes it more likely the Anna Hoffman that I actually want to follow. Makes sense, right? So, once I decided that, all I need to do is tap to follow Anna Hoffman. If you want to learn more about the user, tap on their name. This will bring up the user's full profile. You can also tap on a number of their followers and or people they are following to discover even more folks. From here, you can tap on the plus to follow any of them. You can also search for users by keywords. Once again, we'll go to the search function and search for your keyword. For instance, here I decided to search for basket weaving. Then I can check out people's bios, their profile photos, and tap on the blue plus sign to follow. You can also discover new people to follow through watching broadcasts. When watching a broadcast, just swipe up your screen to see more information about it. Tap on the viewers' names to see their profiles. And don't worry, profiles will open in a light box within the broadcast. During a broadcast, tap on a commentator's name to view their full profile. Once again, it'll pop up as a light box so you won't miss out on the broadcast. In the next part of this Periscope on Android video tutorial, we'll talk about Periscope's two major functions, watching and broadcasting. I also encourage you to read a bookmark my full Periscope tutorial at trafficgenerationcafe.com. It's constantly updated to reflect all the latest Periscope changes. You can find the tutorial on the link in your screen right now or in the video description below. Thanks again for joining me. This is, this is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe, and I'll see you in the next part of this Periscope for Android video series.